And tonight, something is very special taking place. We are jumping from event to event. We are at our second event right now where, of course, the beautiful Takara TV One is like blazing it out with the ultimate merger. We're going to show you some exclusive interviews with her and some other celebrity guests right here. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Hugh Nice and Takara, how are you? Come on over here. I'm fabulous, as you can see. Yes, I can see. You always look fabulous. Thank you. With so much work and, and so much things that you've done as far as like with TV and reality shows and whatnot, what is next? What's, what's up for you next? Oh, well, right now I'm just enjoying the Ultimate Merger. That's where we here at my viewing party for the Ultimate Merger. And um, I'm just enjoying that right now. Sometimes you got to enjoy the moment. How does this feel with all of your fans and your friends here tonight celebrating with you? Oh, it feels really good, and we're going to have a good time. I'm really excited. The energy is good in here. The guys are in here. Oh, it's going to be good. Have you seen the show? I have not seen the show. I am looking to see the show. Right, so we're going to be playing the show. You're going to love it. Yes, I see we got TVs and everything across here, so we are definitely ready for you. And I think the guys, and I can definitely speak for myself, that we are definitely ready for you. And it's so good to see you. Thank you, baby. All right, thank you so much. All right, as usual, we are rolling and doing our thing. I'm your host. My name is Q Nice. And in the building with us right now is Mr. Kingpin. I'll let you peoples, man. Nice. What's up with you, sir? You good? I'm good. Look, look at you. you. You rocking the jewels. You, you're doing your thing right now. I'm lounging, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm in support of the event right now. You know what I'm saying? And I'm going to come check out the showcase, you know, the viewing. And, uh, man, it's a good thing right now. I'm in good spirits. That's all. No doubt. No doubt. You smell, you, you got, you smiling like you got a million bucks on you right now. And, uh, you know, you know we, work, we work it on those millions, man. We work it on it. You know what I'm saying? We definitely Definitely staying busy right now. I'm working. I just finished up my uh, mixtape with Who Kid, Rubber Band Ready Radio. So that's what I got going right now. I got my video current currently in rotation on various outlets. Let the street tell it for my first street single. So things is looking positive right now, man. Tell us about like the shores, any touring, anything like that coming up for you. Right now I got a, a tour. I'm hitting various cities. I'm gonna hit like 15 different cities in support of my mixtape, Rubber Band Ready Radio. And then I'm gonna follow that up with another street album called I'm Not With Rap Bill. Look at look at you. you. You're just doing it right now. You're just incredible. So if people want to keep up with your movements, are you on Twitter, Facebook, all of that? You can find me on Twitter. Uh, that's Twitter slash Kenny Kingpin. Also on Facebook slash Kenny Kingpin. And, uh, you know, I'm staying active, man. Staying busy. Robbie Blackwell, man. Robbie Blackwell, you rocking it with the glasses right now, man. It's just... I need them for medicinal purposes, you know what I'm saying? So I keep my glasses on, you know? <laughs> Tell us, how important is it for you to be here tonight? Uh, it's very important, you know, I just came out to support, you know, the VMA weekend. I love my people, so I was like, you know what, I got to come out support. I'm hitting a lot of events, and, you know, this is one that I want to come out to. No doubt. So what do you have coming up next? What's up for you? Well, I got an EP dropping in the fall, you know. I'm a singer, you know, I'm an artist, and I also write as well. So I got a lot of things dropping in the works, and, you know, that's one of the things. My biggest thing right now is, like I said, my EP dropping in the fall. What's up? For people who want to follow your movements, Twitter, Facebook, hit us up with that information if you got. Man, my Twitter, at Robbie, A-O-M, is R-O-B-B-Y-A-O-M. You can go to my website, RobbieBlackwell.com. Google me. You'll find me. V. Mays. Marcus Anthony. Major Williams. All right, now, if I'm not mistaken, yourself and my man over here on the end, rappers, right? You're R&B, right? Okay, that's what's up. Um, you guys are all signed with Jamie Foxx, right? Yeah, yes, sir. Tell us how, how does that feel? I mean, it's a good deal, especially being along with my boy. This is one of my closest boys. I just got to meet Major like a couple months ago, and I mean, we're all excited. We all got new projects, new singles coming out, and man, it's, it's going to be a good look for us and Fox. Being with two rappers right now, <laughs> and you being an R&B cat in the middle, how does it feel? How do, how do you and Jamie relate when it comes to R&B? Because, you know, he's an R&B cat as well. So, uh, I mean, well, first of all, it's always good to be around rappers because it, it, help, it helps your pen out. You know what I mean? You get it from a different perspective. So it's good to have my brother here and my brother there. And, you know, just to make sure that our writing is correct. At the same time, you know what I mean? You don't get stuck in the R&B realm when you got hip-hop around you. Because it's like sometimes you got to come out, especially if you need that club banger single. You don't want no R&B in the club. You need to, you know what I mean? So it's, it's good having them around. It, it basically balances, you know, with what I'm doing. It's, it's a nice balance for me. Can we see any collabos between y'all? 
Absolutely. We actually have an amazing collabo out online right now on YouTube and Major Williams TV. Uh, it's uh, the Ben on One remix with the, the Drake remix that we all done. Uh, we got some collabos coming between me and V Maze. This is a new situation for the both of us, and we're all excited about it. Man. We got a lot of great records. I have a single that's out that's about to come out called Let Go, so I'm excited about that. And, uh, you know, shout out to the big homie Jamie Foxx, man. All right, we are here with celebrity jeweler Mona Lisa. She's in the building. And, of course, it's your host, Q Nice. Mona Lisa, we want to thank you so much for being here with us. How are you tonight? You look lovely. Thank you. I'm doing great. Thank you. Now, we know that you are the celebrity jeweler to a lot of the stars and celebrities and whatnot. Who are some of those celebrities that we can look out to that you have outfitted with your jewelry? Whitney Houston, Natalie Cole, <laughs> Brandy, Ray J, Megan Good, Sally Pressman, ooh, Alan Cumming, a whole bunch. Yeah, it goes on and on and on. <laughs> How did you get started in, in making jewelry? I, it's funny though, I actually have a background in law, but uh, I got bored with it and I started to design my own jewelry. Everybody loved it and people kept on going like, oh, I like what you're wearing. And I decided to start my own line. If someone wants to check out your jewelry, is there a website or Facebook or Twitter? Yeah, you can go on nehita.com. It's spelled N-E-H-I-T-A.com. I go by King Kevin Casey, you know what I'm saying, in the flesh here with finesse. Yes, sir. King Kevin Casey. Now, you're you putting it down, man. What, what, do you, what else do you have coming up? What, what are you doing right now? You know, right now I'm with uh, Black House Management Group, which is a, a fighting management company. You know, they manage some of the greats in the sport now in mixed martial arts. And so you guys can get ready for me to fight as early as uh, early October. Get ready for something spectacular. You know, possibly a Showtime promotion. You know, possibly a, a Bama promotion out of New England. So uh, get ready to see me on, on the real, on the real main line. You know what I'm saying? How is training for you right now? Is it really hard or, you know, has it been, you know, really vigorous? And how's all that been going for you? Definitely, uh, you know, due to all the attention that I have going on, so it's been a little bit of, you know, different pressure on my training, but I've ramped up the training, I've turned everything on full, full throttle, so we ready to go, ready to show the people, give them what they want. It's your boy Bobby Brackens, we just chilling, came to uh, my homegirl Echo's event, you know, she always throws a real, real settled event. Big B, what's going on? Feeling good, looking good, what's, what's happening for tonight? Man, you know, it's VMA weekend, you know, a lot, a lot of uh, pretty girls in town just hanging out, just, you know, I got to leave tomorrow for some shows, but I'm going to be back out here Saturday and Sunday, so I'm just enjoying, you know, the atmosphere. Hollywood is cracking this weekend. That's what's up. As far as your Twitter, Facebook information, you know. Yeah, you know, hit me up on my Facebook, you know, slash Bobby Brackens, B-O-B-B-Y-B-R-A-C-K-I-N-S. And the Twitter is at Bobby Brackens, B-O-B-B-Y-B-R-A-C-K-I-N-S. And shout out Echo, you know, we just having fun, you know, doing my thing. Dropping my mixtape, 914-11, in like two weeks, Pin Pin Strong. Everybody go download that off my website, BobbyBrackens.com.